What does the partition of Europe mean to you and to people? You know, uh, there are two parts of Europe. One is more lucky than the other. I'm living in the part which is not so lucky. So I, uh, I'm not so pleased by this partition because I am, uh, with a lot of people who are living here, the loser. And the loser is never satisfied with the status quo. Uh, probably uh, the superpowers are more satisfied, maybe, also, the western part of Europe is also satisfied, but somehow the East European aren't happy with their situation. And it's, uh, yes, maybe also a factor of the destabilization, because somehow it shows that this problem is not arranged. That uh, it's an anomaly which became a normality. Uh, and uh, this normality is accepted because it was the consequence of the forces, uh, but probably a situation which was constructed after the war on the ruins of Europe, where uh, uh, the European nations were somehow uh, uh, physically and morally also destroyed. So a structure which was built on this, uh, 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 on this uh, terrain of uh, uh, ruins uh, is not so uh, valid and meaningful as it was uh, uh, immediately of the war. 